Hi there, I've got an 11,000 series Heckle bassoon here. Um, it was brought to us recently for repairs by the owner. He bought it new in 1974. When I opened the case, I thought, what a beautiful instrument. We're a bassoon specialist company, so I just enjoy seeing different bassoons every day. We get lots coming through. And an 11,000 series Heckle, we do get a lot of heckles here, but it's a very nice thing to see. I had an amazing disappointment though. When I opened the case and put it together, I started to play it and within about five notes, I knew that there's something badly wrong with this bassoon. I felt saddened by it. Uh, the owner has had problems with it almost since new, but it's actually been at home, unplayed under the bed for decades now and uh, he plays other bassoons instead. He's decided to bring it to us as a specialist company in bassoon acoustics and, um, and repairs and restoration. Pretty much straight away knew what was wrong with it. This is a really common problem with bassoons, um, especially ones with unlined finger holes. Basically the fibres in the wood expand when they get wet over time and it, sh and it shrinks the holes. These were about half the size they should have been and that shrinks the tone. It was muted and weak sounding and very flat in pitch and basically unplayable for me. The balance of them is so important. Even any roughness can, can affect the tone and the playability of this bassoon. If you've got lined finger holes, you may still have muck in them. Many people are unable to diagnose these kind of things on their bassoons. They just accept that they've got to struggle with their bassoon and adjust their reeds and... Um, I mean, this, this, the owner of this is playing on a nought nought heckle crook. I've, it's the first one I've ever seen, actually. That's really short. So um, he's battling with this, these really flat notes. We've got the right reamers to ream out these holes back to the correct uh, heckle dimensions. It's a careful specialist job. I wouldn't recommend you do it yourself, but it involves doing a small amount of reaming in 0.1 millimeter increments, and just taking a tiny bit off, putting it together, playing it. I've got loads of crooks, loads of reeds. I'm making sure that there's no variables in the crooks or the reeds that are affecting the tuning so that I know what I'm reaming is correct um, and also I've got a good idea of what size they should be um, and I've reamed them out and it's fixed it it's an absolutely world beating bassoon now I think the owner is going to be delighted and I really hope he starts playing it more <laughs>